everyone welcome back to the channel thank you so much for clicking on today's video so today we are going around B&M so let's get straight on into it so they had these syrups in for 3 dollars which I thought was really good because they were really big compared to what you normally get they had loads of really cool baking stuff in you can see they've got some Halloween stuff in there for a pound and then I saw that Cadbury's fudge artin was on offer for two pound and I thought that would be absolutely delicious if you are doing like cupcakes and things just showing you a a few more Halloweeny bits if you've got kids it's just great activity to do with them and then moving on into some of the homeware stuff so they had some gorgeous lampshades particularly that grey one there with the silver detail around it I thought that would look stunning either if that was off a ceiling or if you've got like a tall lamp that you could put that on and for only £12 I thought that looked way more expensive something that you could even find in Dunelm and then I didn't realise but they sold hoovers in there for like £35, I thought that was amazing for wireless but if you did want to get something that's a little bit more trusted I suppose like hoover then they do have those for £89 which is still a really good price for wireless hoovers they did have microwaves in, I did like the white ones, we're looking for a new microwave and I didn't think they were bad for £65 and they had Tresemme hair dryers for £11.99 which is just incredible I swear back in the day Tresemme used to be a lot more expensive than that. I had some straighteners and I was also completely taken in by these styling tops. They were only £8.99 and they had rose gold and marble. So if you've got a teenage girl, they might be a good perfect present. Just a quick overview here. So they we start again in their 2021 planners, which is very early, but they did have some nice ones in. And then just showing you very quickly the makeup bits, quite similar to what they've had before. So a lot of Rimmel, a lot of Max Factor. But as I always say, they are really good prices in there and they're about half the price of, say, Boots or Superdrug. Just showing you a few more lamps. I love that gold one for $16.99. That was quite a big lamp for the price. And then these ones are just great to have on side tables particularly if you've got smaller ones and then I also did like these white ones for $12.99 I just feel like they look so lovely and fresh I'm not sure I'll be able to keep the fingerprints off the mirrored stand though and then these are washing up baskets but great for putting in like toys for the, the kiddie ones I love that dinosaur one or when I was at uni I used to put spare bedding and towels in washing baskets as well and then just showing you a few of the cleaning bits I love that rose gold brush and then of course they had all the other types of brushes and I really like the pink and grey ones there that you can see for $1.99 and they also had the matching scrub brush in rose gold as well if you do want to sort of up your cleaning game And then they also have some really beautiful brushes as well. You can see they've got the floral detail and they've also got grey and mustard on. So actually really trendy for saying that these are just brushes. And they were really cheap, like £2.99. And then they also had these things which I thought were quite handy. They're like a mop and broom wall clip so you can hang them off the wall if you've got a utility room that would be perfect and then just showing you some of the scented things they've got in of course they've got all the airwork in for $4.99 what I did notice in B&M was that they hadn't really moved on to their autumnal scents and you'll see that in the fabulosa I'm just showing you that these are really sort of those spring scents that I personally love but I know a lot of people now are wanting that more sort of wintry autumn scent but this is what they had in and then they had all their unstoppables in so they had the really large ones in for $7.99 and of course they had all the comfort I would like to try those ones at $3.99 in the dark packaging I just feel like they look really nice And then they also had these wall light um, centers as well. And these are $1.99, they're so a lot cheaper than the Lenore ones. I'd love to give those a go. If, you've, if you have, let me know what they're like. And then I thought that sponge cleaner was kind of handy. I feel like that'd be really good to clean out mugs. I hate cleaning out mugs because obviously you've got to get all the stain out of the bottom and it can be quite difficult sometimes. So I thought that new style of brush would be really good for those and then just showing you a few scents so that one at the top was a Rihanna one for $5.99 and then they even had FC UK ones for $3.99 and the ones at the bottom were Sarah Jessica Parker and I just feel like they would make great gifts or if you just wanted to treat yourself 
Now, I'm just showing you these Imperial Leathers. I used to love Imperial Leather when I was a kid. I don't know why. I think it's just so fascinating that it was foam. And then they have this banana body wash. I've tried the shampoo of that and it smells incredible. So I can only imagine that would smell equally as good. And then they have some really gorgeous false nails that you can see there. I think that was an eyeshadow palette. I just absolutely love the colours of that. You know I'm partial to a little bit of pink. And I just love the glitters. And then they had these very vegan lipsticks. And I was quite intrigued by those. They were definitely new in my B&M. And they, he was even selling Bondi Sans Tan in there. So I know so many people who absolutely rave about Bondi Sans. So yeah, they've started selling it in B&M. Really gorgeous pale pink brush. And they had loads of really gorgeous ruffles in as well. Those ones there, only a pound. Those really pretty hair bubbles for little girls. And then more ruffles that you can see there. I mean, for little girls, to be fair, I would wear those as well. I always have a ruffle in when I'm just chilling around the house. And you can see they're starting to get more of those gift sets things in so the revolution that's a really good brand i've every time i've tried makeup from there it's always been really nice quality see they've got some gorgeous makeup bags for 3.99 and then moving on into more of the homeware section you can see the curtain ties there and they've also got some really nice cushion covers in really cheap at 4.99 but saying that you can get cushions from being with the actual cushion in for that sort of price and then i just wanted to give you a really quick overview of the gray curtains that they've got in they literally had every design that you could think of depending on the thickness they range from about 20 pounds up to 40 pounds now I am partial to a check on a curtain, I don't know why, I just feel like it makes it feel really cosy. So I like the ones at the top at $49.99 and then these ones are sort of like the thinner curtains that you get. I love the geo print there for £9. I did like the pink one with the unicorns on for like a little girl's room. I was also a fan of this grey and mustard one you can see there for £9. Then I absolutely fell in love with this basket. You know me, I love pale pink. And this was only eight pounds. I just feel like perfect for blankets, toys. And moving on into some of their storage options. They had loads of different foldable boxes. They were all seven pounds. And these are perfect for putting in cupboards, on shelves. And then moving in to some other storage. I feel like they had these last time these pale pink and grey boxes there and also the wire baskets but they are still in if you're interested love those drawers and next to it these are towel and toilet roll holders I mean look how fancy they are and they were 6 dollars each and then just going back to the drawers I just want to show you they were only £15 so if you've got like a small place that you can pop them in the bathroom I feel like they'd be perfect for holding makeup, skincare just your overflow stuff because it's stuff like that I feel like that makes a bathroom look really cluttered so if you've got somewhere that you can hide it away it's absolutely perfect and then just showing you their range of bath mats I don't feel like these have changed very much but I still really like the pale pink one and also the knitted like white one that you could see there again just wanted to show you the range of towels they pretty much have towels in every color that you could wish for I feel like again not much of the bathroom stuff have changed but I was still really loving the white and rose gold and that they, they were sort of around the 2 99 to maximum £5 mark and then into the bedding loved that pink one for £25 and I absolutely fell in love with this print I feel like this is a print that you would see in Dunelm not B&M and that cushion there was only £7 and then some more of these simple bedding so if you want some spares they've got stuff for £10 or if you've got kids or it's yourself moving out to uni and you're on a budget they have bedding in there that will make your room look really nice and then I thought this was a blanket but it's actually a fitted sheet eight pounds how cozy would that be as the months get colder and then they even have a king one and that was only ten pounds they had those in a range of colors they have them in gray and pinks and all sorts of colors and then I love that one the king there that you saw it was marble and it had a pink trim which I just thought was gorgeous that was literally everything that I could wish for from a duvet cover set and then I look at this one for £22 so that was like a really seriously soft fluffy duvet set I feel like that's an amazing price because it was really thick and it was I can't tell you how soft it was and then just giving you an overview of the other pink bedding that they had in you know me I do love pink I really wish that I could add a little bit more pink into my decor 
um, but yeah just really great prices and then these ones I felt were a little bit more Christmassy you can see they started to bring the red out and again you can see the really fluffy duvet sets I really like the cable knit one for £22 there I really like this pillow, excuse me, I'm kind of covering the camera there, but I thought that pillow was really cute. I love those storage baskets as well, and they had some really pretty clocks in. I was drawn in by this big white one. I feel like if I had a massive open plan kitchen and I had like a sofa, I'd like that clock to go above it. It was only £15, I'm not sure how they can make things like that for so cheap but if you've got a little bit more modern decor, they've got a marble one. I also like that wooden one next to it pink geo cushions so they had every pink cushion that you could dream of as you can see here i do like the pink with the gold i feel like that's really on trend right now to have like gold accessories so they you could even add it in if you didn't want to spend loads of money just with some cushions you can see they've even got cushions there for five pounds so ridiculously cheap and then of course they've got all their throws and the things in again their throws are so cheap you can see the ones at the top the white geo print ones are only five pounds perfect for throwing in your car if you've got kids use them with those or even if you have a dog perfect for that as well And then moving on to the grey cushions, as you know, my house is all grey, so the walls, the sofas, the cushions, everything, but because they have so many nice prints, it's nice just to add a little bit of something different with cushions, and I feel like you can really change up your decor on a budget by just changing the accessories. So you can see they've got lots of blankets as well. I really like that, I think it's the Heritage Collection yeah that it's called in B&M they always do really lovely blankets and I really like these big fluffy ones for £10 I just feel like there's nothing better in the winter when you've got a really nice snuggly blanket and a hot chocolate and then I am also a big fan of stripes I just feel like it's nice if you've got quite plain settees just to add a little bit of pattern and then just showing you some of the other colours that they had in as well you can see they've got some dark reds Again, I feel like that's very sort of Christmassy. If you did want to change up your decor, you could just throw down like the rugs are really cheap and the cushions are really cheap. So it's a great way to do that. I am loving like the stone colour and the beige as well. I know a lot of people are changing their decor from grey to that sort of colour. I can see why it does seem like a little bit fresher. But I did just want to point out this cushion again. £8 is so cheap and I feel like that's a cushion that again you could find in Dunelm and it'd be so much more expensive and then they just had a few more makeup brushes randomly placed around the shop and those revolution to £6 again just showing you a little bit more storage this basket was on offer at £5 and then these are just a few little cute bits that you could add to a nursery love those for two pounds oh and there's me not looking very glamorous <laughs> um but it was a very hot day and i was wearing a jumper i don't know why but i love the mirror with the rope detail and then just some really cute bits these would make really nice gifts actually if you know somebody who's buying a new house and you're getting a housewarming gift it's stuff like this that i feel like really makes a home a home and then moving on to that artificial plant so these range from from £1.50 for the ones that you can see there and then like the bunches of lilies and the bigger ones were £3. Now they did start having in a few Christmas bits in, nowhere near as much as Home Bargains if you've seen my last come shot with me, my goodness Home Bargains have gone crazy on Christmas already but there was a few nice bits, I liked the white and gold flowers there for £6.99 and then I found these really gorgeous pink plants. I'm not sure if they were outdoor plants or indoor plants, but I thought they were really beautiful. Anyway, and then these boxes at £12 really reminded me of the ones in my Dunelm Come Shop with me. And they also still have the big cheese plants in that you can see that I think they were £12. Again, a few more Christmassy bits. I feel like they're really nice for Christmassy bits, not too out there. And they were five pounds each and i loved the gray baskets on the pink flowers at the bottom there and then they also had these stools i really like the furry one i feel like that would 
add like some nice texture into a room and you can see they've got lots of different style of stools depending on what you like and i just wanted to show you these because they do have a few more wintry autumnal scents i do like the idea of the gingerbread man one and these were all three pounds not last chance to buy i think they were just changing their stock over and then just a few tea light holders because you can never have too many tea light and candle holders that you can see here at this time of year just makes a house so nice and cozy when a candle is on and uh, they did have a few more wintry scents but not crazy i would say i feel like they're only just getting them in and then the yankee candles that they did have in there i would say were definitely more spring scents at the moment and then i love that geo print mirror for three pounds and they had some really gorgeous jewelry boxes that you can see there for six pounds again i feel like they would make really nice Christmas gifts dare I say it <laughs> and they still had lots of the hanging plants as well and loads of gold accessories I'm really jealous of houses that have gold accessories I would go for the gold plant part on the wooden legs and I did also love these mirrors I see loads of people using these mirrors on Instagram for really sort of like cool shots um, and to be fair I mean at this price you could use them for that or you could even use them as a tray to put perfume on but they did have trays there as well you can see for six pounds and if you've got a more girly house you can see they've got mirrors with printed flowers and birds on and they were four pounds so just really lovely affordable decor you can see here again just a few more Christmas bits three pounds for just some tea light holders and they have some really cute sort of cushion hearts that you could just hang off your doors or your wardrobe handles again just showing you a few more wintry candles they were 2.99 and again would make great gifts and i did like the silver jewelry box that you can see there and also the stars again christmasy but not too out there so you could get away i think you know just as winter decor and then just showing you the heritage candles because i do feel like these always do look a bit more autumnal than the say like whitford and co ones from home bargains i think it's just the color that they tend to go for they go for sort of more like browns and darks and warm colors and then i really like these shelves again perfect for a bathroom or a hallway oh and then i fell in love with this vanity set for a little girl for 50 quid i mean that's just so lovely and I did like the one down at the bottom left there it's a, a little bit more girly and then I know this is really random but they had some really nice fold-up chairs so these are 12 pounds and do you know at Christmas like you can't have enough chairs because you have like so many people around so if you need more chairs B&M is the place to go I did really like this coffee table but it didn't have a price on it unfortunately and they also had the stores to match and they were six pounds perfect if you do have like a vanity or a desk that you need a chair or a stool for and then just showing you what plates and things they had in so they had the marble sets in very well exactly the same pretty much to the ones at Dunelm and these were only two pounds each and then I thought these were quite intriguing. They had leopard print, so very fashionable for kitchenware, but really nice. It's not too like loud. It's quite a nice subtle leopard print. And again, all of the dishes and the plates were around two pounds. And they did have some sets in. These were similar, if not exactly the same, what they had before. But again, great if you're starting back at uni and you just want some nice stuff to get you going and then I really like this cutlery so this is £12 you can see it's silver cutlery but it had like a gold geo print on the handles and then if you want to zhuzh up your dining room table they had some lovely placemats and things in so as you can see here so £4.99 for the more standard ones and then I love these £4 for this I feel like they're more like party wear though not everyday wear and then just an overview of the mugs, those mugs there for 2 dollars of course, the, the pink geo, do I need to say that they're my favourite? <laughs> but yeah, just a quick overview here. I feel like these have like quite a few nice mugs in compared to Home Bargains, I feel like they'd swapped it up a bit more. And then just showing you some tea towels, I really like the stone coloured ones, I know they're really plain but I just really like that colour. And I also like the pink ones at £3 too. 
and they also did have some winter mugs in if you are looking now for winter mugs you saw the polar bear ones i personally like these not winter of course but still really pretty and i do love a travel mug i i didn't break it i left it in the car and it went all disgusting so i had to throw it away and these had so many to choose from all different types all different styles i really like the marble and pink one and i also to be fair, I like the blue one with the birds on as well i thought that was really cute they just had very basic kitchen wearing nothing that was like really pretty i was hoping they'd have some rose gold stuff in but just showing you some baking stuff too i feel like they are moving on to christmas you can see they're starting to get the red stuff out and they had these large pans and what i liked about these was their color of them look at those like if you're refreshing the kitchen like i said moving out these are just a perfect starter pan and they're only 6.99 and you can get the bigger pot as well to match or if you want to stay branded they do have russell hobbs in there for 12.99 which isn't bad at all and just showing you sort of their tea coffee sets i don't feel like these have changed in a while i'm pretty sure i've shown these on my previous videos but you know what i still do like them to be fair and then i'm totally being drawn into these soup containers i just feel like they're perfect because soup does make plastic or stain doesn't it so they are ideal especially at this time of year I have loads of soups and then just showing you the lunch boxes I love lunch boxes with all the intricate like parts I just feel I don't know I think I'm a big kid like that husband hates it because they're a pain to wash it up and then these trays are just sort of really pretty for 2 dollars and they had lots of like pale pink kitchen accessories I know those are for putting cutlery in and stuff but you know what if you've got a like makeup brush collection or you just need something to put like stationery and things in I feel like that would be good and then just showing you another tray has anybody ever used these double tiers I don't know whether they actually do fit any more washing up on let me know your thoughts and then just having a look at like the toasters and kettles I do like the black and rose gold but I feel like I need well we need a new toaster in our kitchen because ours is just completely Oh, it just it either burns toast you can't get the toast out it's really annoying but I did like this grey one here but I don't think I don't think £34 was the price for that and I couldn't see it sort of anywhere in the boxes it just seemed like one random one on its own um, but yeah they've got loads to pick from I did really like this set however we definitely need a four slice toaster oh my god I, we won't be able to cope with just having two and then they had lots of really pretty phone cases in as well and um, this is four pounds and i like that it's got the socket ring on the back it just helps with holding the phone particularly if you do filming and stuff like me and that's why like these chargers how cute are they they're from cosmopolitan so they're the magazine but you can tell they're like really fancy and then they've got the ring lights for your phone great present for like teenagers or to be fair if, <laughs> i mean i do do Instagram very loosely and um, so perfect if you know somebody who does filming or yeah who does Instagram and then moving on to stationery I really like this set it's beautiful and floral and that was two pounds I'm just showing they've still got some of the hinge you know activity journals and the list books at six pounds and they also have these really pretty to-do lists at 1.99 did like that ooh -la -la notepad that was three pounds I feel like a lot of their station was very similar to before but I did like that now or never um, notepad that's great for just planning out your week and they had the matching notebook to the stationery set so again really nice present to somebody or yourself and then these are just some pink slippers and I just love the bow detail on there and then I just can't get over how they can make slippers like this for four pounds they feel so comfy and cozy this is just a nice makeup bag they had a few different letters just thought they were really pretty an overview of the gift wrapping because I do love a bit of gift wrapping I just like making things look so special and my favourite out of all of this was this celebrate gift bag at 175 I just love the sequins in there and then I get totally drawn in by stuff like this so they did have a few more makeup style bags these were four pounds I just love the tassels on them I just feel like it gives it a little bit more 
detail makes it look a bit more expensive than B&M. They had personalised pens, they had personalised placemats, they had the bottles to match. You could literally go full out and get the whole set. And you can see they're starting to get more of like the gift set style things in. Um, so the hot water bottles here, it's just so fuzzy and just thought they would look really cosy and would make a perfect gift. And they also had these candles in. Now I feel like those are really good price for £5 because the actual big matches in TK Maxx can sometimes be £5 in a jar just alone, can't they? So I think they were actually a really reasonable price. And then they had this section that was almost like for dogs. I just thought that was really cute. I loved these soft toy bones and like the wolf. And I think, to be fair, I don't think it's just dogs. I think it's like presents aimed at dog lovers. And they did have presents aimed at cat lovers as well. And these pens were cool because they were like, they had positive quotes on them. So if you know somebody who's working from home and they need a little pick me up, I feel like giving them like a pack of pens like that would be really like a sweet idea. And they had some more like girly type presents in. There's always mugs in their presents. I, I try not to buy mugs just because I feel like everybody's mug cupboards are always overflowing. And I did just want to show you these lunch bags. These are like the nicest lunch bags I've ever seen. Grey and rose gold and they were £4. If I was back at the office, I would be buying one of those lunch bags. And then just showing you some more of their gift sets. Obviously, these are coming in because of Christmas. They had lots of revolution. They had lots of different types of makeup brushes. I really like these leopard print ones. They're really funky. And, of course, they've got all the Dove. I feel like they have these sorts of things like year in, year out. But I've never seen the FC UK. So they've got that in this year. And Christmas isn't Christmas, is it, without Fox's Biscuits? I don't know about you guys, but we always get Fox's Biscuits in, of course, with Quality Street and oh, like mini cheddars, just all this sort of stuff. It is making me excited for Christmas, but it is still a bit too early for, for me to be buying any of this. I was quite intrigued by this hamper. This was only £15, which is pretty good because the basket itself looks really nice. And then these were coffee syrups, but again, you could use them for hot chocolate and they were only £4. Talking of which, they have like a hot chocolate set for £4. And that looks like a marshmallow set. And then if, some, if you've got people who like to have a little drink, they've got you covered there. And I love those little dog, I think they're, sh they're shortbreads usually in there. And they also have the Airwick advent calendars. They were only 4 99 which I thought was actually a really good price for those. And I couldn't remember seeing them last year. We've also got a few Christmassy soft toys, which we can never get because of the dog. Which is probably a good thing because I feel like my house would be filled <laughs> with just soft toys I don't know. just get taken in because they're so cute and I feel like I've got to take them home and look after them <laughs> um, and then yeah just showing you a few bits of the furniture because they did have some really nice furniture in and I feel like that art deco drinks trolley would be perfect for Christmas or just like tucked away in the corner in the living room like styled up with some like greenery and stuff on it and that was it for this video I really hope you enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to subscribe and I shall see you in my next one bye bye